What's up guys? Thank you guys so much for tuning back into the channel. As always, in today's video, we are going to start working on the 06 Mustang GT, which we bought in the last video on a terrible 10 hour road trip, but it all worked out because we got the car. Anyway, click the link, all that jazz. But anyway, we're gonna be tearing this thing apart. We're gonna be hopefully trying to pull the subframe out. We got a new hood, we're gonna throw that on probably and get a start tearing off all the parts that were broken that we need to replace. So let's get started by pulling this car into the garage. First off, let me give you guys a quick rundown on the car. It is a 2006 Mustang GT automatic. She has the leather seats, loaded, loaded package. She's in great shape, a nice red. But as you can see, the wheels are plastic dipped. The hood is absolutely trashed. The bumper cover is trashed, headlights are trashed. But she's in great shape. She's got 140,000 miles on her. Just needs a lot of cleaning up. First things first though, we're gonna get to taking this hood off because a couple days ago, I went and made a trip to Charlotte and picked up this used red hood off an 09 Mustang. And it's compatible, all that thing needs is a buff. I got a really good deal on it, so it's definitely worth the trip, but we're hopefully gonna put that on today after we pull the subframe out, which I'll show you guys right now. So, this thing, there it goes. If it's very bent, it's very crooked, and as you can see, this frame, subframe right here, is bent in right here, where it took the impact, you can see here. Bumper took it, this took it, it was rear, they rear-ended somebody. It bent this bracket up a little bit, and for some reason, they decided to weld the hood pins on, so that's interesting. We're gonna grind these off, get rid of those, fix these, paint these. But it didn't crack the, the radiator, which is awesome. You don't have to go through and replace that. But this thing needs to come out about two inches or so. So we should be able to do that with a little bit of persuasion, but nothing crazy. This thing is barely even tweaked. And the subframe isn't really a big deal. The frame rails themselves are straight, so this this piece could be replaced, but we're just gonna pull it out. It's not that big of a deal. So first off, let's get to you pulling the hood off, pulling the bumper cover off, getting rid of these crappy headlights, and yeah, put you guys on time lapse. Be right back. Okay, so the hood is off. These were a little interesting. You can see where this one was bent a little bit. Made that a little difficult to get off, but no big deal. The hood is on the ground. This thing is officially junk. Might hang that on the wall or something with the Honda Honda hood. <laughs> but um, let's keep going. We're gonna go ahead and pull this cover off. We got a couple bolts here, bolts here. Same on this side. Get the headlights off, and we should be ready to try and pull this out. I'm gonna show you guys. We'll we'll cross that bridge when we get there, but it shouldn't take too much longer. I'm trying to make a million, bitch. I'm trying to make my grandchildren rich. I guess we got something in common after all. Hey, everyone around me gun ball until we fall. Hey, yeah, hey, I ain't got no time for all. No half the time these bitches looking like some water. Okay, so we finally got the front bumper off. It was a decent paint. If you guys are gonna do this at home, I do recommend taking your wheels off. But we're about to drive this thing so we can straighten the frame. I didn't. But this uh that shield gets in the way. It's kind of hard to get off. But we got the crappy bumper off. Both turn signals are in good shape. I didn't realize that, but I went ahead and ordered some new ones anyway. I mean, the ones I ordered are aftermarket, so they'll be better than these crappy stock ones, along with the new headlights. That'll be here soon. We did get the new bumper in today. New bumper, new turn signals are here. I'll show you guys this whenever um, everything else comes in. No bad impact problems, Every the bumper's straight. It just hit the subframe, so. I'm gonna go ahead and take these lights off everything and then get this thing ready to <laughs> take into the frame straightener, AKA a winch. So all the lights are off, all the wiring still works so we don't have to rewire anything. We're definitely gonna have to clean some stuff up. As you can see, it's very, some of it's really rat's nest where someone's been here before, but it's really no big deal. We're gonna have to take out the 
front insert and these little clamps for the turn signals. But both turn signals are in good shape. We'll go ahead and save them for a project down the road. And we have one headlight just in case we'll need it. We'll go ahead and keep it. Everything is good. We're gonna go ahead and take her over to the frame straightening machine. And I'll show you guys that right now. It should be a little interesting. Let me set it up and we'll uh, get to work. So for those of you guys who know, my trailer has a winch on the front of it, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the Mustang up to the trailer. The bumper's gonna be up against the trailer so it supports it. We're gonna run the winch wire from here, hook it to right here, and just have it on a little switch. We're just gonna pull it a couple times, and all that uh, subframe has to do is come forward literally an inch or two, so hopefully, with it's literally sandwiching the trailer and the sand, the frame of the trailer should be able to take the weight of it. It shouldn't be too hard. I just kind of had this idea uh, while the bumper's off. So um, yeah, let's get this thing butted up against the trailer. Nice. Perfect. This thing looks so much better without a hood. It's got this fancy cross brace on here, like. Looks way better without a hood. It just it just does. But um, as you can see, we have the bumper up against the trailer. Let's go ahead and run the winch line to it. Yes, it's gonna work. Okay, guys, it is getting dark, so bear with me. But we have the cord hooked up. We have the winch hooked up. Let's go ahead and try and straighten this thing out. See what she does. No way. No way. There is no way that actually worked. All right, so guys, after one little pull in a little spot, you can see this thing is so much straighter. The hood lash is back where it's supposed to be and still needs to bend up a little bit. But let's go ahead and take the cover and see if it lines up right, because if it does, this frame is perfectly straight now. So give me one second. This is the cover that goes over these things factory that was missing. But as you can see, the hole here lines up perfectly and the hole here lines up perfectly, exactly where it's supposed to be from factory. And it's not tweaked up one side low, high, or anything like that. It's literally, it's perfect. It's exactly where it's supposed to be, which is awesome. Which means Eric Burdett's frame straightening company is in full effect because we just straightened our first frame. That is awesome. It's just an idea I had. It worked perfectly. Wow, I cannot believe that. Um, I'll let you guys know in the next few videos if it is still straight, but right now everything's looking perfect. I can't wait. <laughs> Wow, that is awesome. But um, that's it for now. Uh, next video, hopefully we should be putting some new parts on. We have the hood. We didn't get to that today. We'll do it next time. New bumper, headlights. We're still waiting for the new grill and everything to come in. And we still have to paint the bumper. So we'll do all that next video. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. And as always, deuces.